extreme elements. Said. Hyksal Pat is now live. Streaming Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers, 20th Anniversary Edition, Part 5, Gabriel Knight Trilogy, Point and Click Heaven. Okay guys, we are back, part 5, going to continue on, we left off in the Voodoo Museum. The day, day 4 is nearly ended, so I'm going to do the end of day 4 and do day 5, hopefully, tonight, do it in 2 hours, but I don't know, it's tricky. I have to use a hint. Crash definitely knows something, but he's too quick to say anything. Thinks I'm just a clueless as the cops. That that be the day. I need to get him to believe I know about the beauty stuff like fast. Doesn't look too good. Did you buy the crocodile mask? No, because I need 120. Did you talk to Gran about family secrets? Yes. I did. Did you help Sam win the game? No. Not yet. Did you show Crash the bracelet? Okay. How to buy the crocodile mask? Let me ask his friend Grace to help. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Come back again. A sign on the front. Oh, hey this didn't happen before. Bruno, how nice. Gee, a customer of yours? Hardly. How's the flower business? Well, better than the used book business, I see. Rare books. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? Ah. I can get the money off this guy. How much, How much would you give me for it? Oh, you're serious? You'll let me have it? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your... Yeah, I'll let you have it all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. That's fair, My yeah. Affairs are so tight. And I have 20 as well. Gabriel, so, 120. $100 for your yeah. This Fine. Gabriel! Here. Here's the 100. Hmm. You 
You better take good care of this, Bruno. This is not just another of your hip art pieces, you know. Really? Well, I fully intend to make the most of its display. Though not for your sake, I'm sure. At least in my shop, there'll be a chance of someone actually seeing it. Wow. I'd like to go to his I shop. I can't believe I actually got it. Just wait until I show Sid. I don't believe you. It, it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. Nice. So now I can go to the voodoo shop and buy the mask. Crocodile mask. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Okay, nothing new there. But the thing is, it's very coincidental that you go back to the shop and then this guy comes in, gives you hundred dollars for the paint. I need to do. Good luck. When you need a hundred dollars for the paint. So that really just like only for the plot reason that happened. It doesn't really make any sense. But hopefully it does later on. Can I ask you just a few? What if? Would you take? Don't insult me. What? You said you. You miss her. Hmm. Hundred and twenty. Okay. There you go. I have a hundred twenty dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred and twenty show enough. That mask is yours, sir. Nice. I still feel like we've been ripped off. Hundred and twenty dollars for a crocodile head. Well, it's well, I suppose it's a real real head, so not really ripped off. Carefully don't bite you now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now don't you go forgetting your lag me up. A free bottle of master gambling oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck oil instead. Well, I was thinking a man as young as you wouldn't be needing that kind of remedy. But, uh, you's having problems with your, uh... Uh, that's all right. Uh, believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Cause it ain't none of my business if you do need it now, huh? I don't need it. Oh, of course you don't. Nice, so now we have the crocodile mask and we have the oil that will help the guy win the to help Sam win the game of chess. Nice. The small bottle is labeled Master Gambling Oil. Master Gambling Oil. The crocodile mask is made of genuine crocodile head. It looks Go to Napoleon's house, which is the name of the bar that Gabriel goes to for the last many years. Got a second, Sam? It's about your game. I don't have a game, that's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I've gone, bastard. I never needed to cheat yet, you loser. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus... Whoa, hold it! Would I make something like... Get out of here! Well, if that's what you want. This is a power... Ah, go on. Really? Tenerife. 
Welcome to Pixel Land. You might be able to sell it to some poor dumb sucker. No, you sell it to some poor dumb sucker. I bet it would work as... Look, no amount of tonic's gonna help this... This voodoo oil could make a nun get lucky. Really? You think it really works, huh? I'd stake my reputation as a novelist on it. Hmm. And you say Marcus uses this? That explains a lot. Let me see that bottle. This looks authentic. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a pimp's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. How much you think I ought to put in here? Careful, you don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. Ha! There's no... Come on already, I'm ready to checkmate. We'll see about that, Mr. Smarty Big Mouth. Checkmate! <laughs> Son of a bitch! What the years I've been waiting to say that! You are the biggest buddy! Checkmate! You... You can just put that chest... Hallelujah! Hallelujah, nice you won! Nice game! Hell, I was brilliant! Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, we'll do. Yeah, I'm gonna get you to make a bracelet for me. That's what I'm gonna need a favor for. Could you do anything with what is this? Hmm. And I if you can. You got it, pal. Actually, it'll be a pleasure to get my tools out. First time in years. I've been too busy playing that goddamn game. I'll have the bracelet later today. Right now I feel like I could do anything. Me great, thanks. So meet back in a few hours here, okay. Hmm. Look at these guys I talk. Gabriel has spent an Hey, how's it going? Could you excuse us? We're talking here. Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. I'm not too busy at the moment. Ask a few questions? Yes. Exit. Great. Can I ask you some questions? No. No. Beat it. Okay, so where can I go in the meantime? Let's see what have we got in there. Cut on mask. Oh! Who wants to see that mask? You did this thing? Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Let me equip the crocodile mask and show it to him. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. What do you think of my crocodile mask? Mm. Nice. Huh? That's it. Come on. Could I ask you some? Of course. Ah, there's nothing new here. What else? I am afraid I have. I'm afraid I... I'm quite... Do you know anything? I am afraid... I 
believe I already in. Tell me what actually I didn't. Okay. She kept a pet snake, danced with it too. She held traditional voodoo ceremony. She took herself seriously, very seriously. But she was not above selling tickets. She was not above using voodoo any way she could. But if she had been in another line of work, in another age... Hey, you don't need to convince me. I admire... Hmm. What could I do now? Oh, maybe convince... No, wait. I'll be going. Come back again. So who would want to see a crocodile head? It's my favorite grandson. It's my nice. favorite grandson. Your only grandson, but nice try, Gran. Does this mean anything to you, Gran? Sorry. Hmm. Waste my time coming here. Of course, my boy. Is there me? No, no, I'm just nice. Well, oh, Gabriel, please. Oh, no. oh, well, Grand, I'd better get going. Remember that I love you, Gabriel. Love you too. Getty is busy, officer, and has if you just tell goodbye. Hey Grace, here I am. Oh boy, party time. Gabriel can't see a way to you. Got a minute? What's up? Could you? Sure. Okay. Do you? Nope, none right now. He's still there. He hasn't moved in. Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. Sam, my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah? Well, too. Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. 
The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. I'm going to it. Sounds like fun. Are you kidding? Look at Okay, gotta go to see Crash at this place. Show him the bracelet. Sam's replica of Madame Kaz. <coughs> Do you recognize this? Where did you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this. Crash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign, man. The bark of the snake. <coughs> Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign wow. of the snake. Right. Your tattoo. My bracelet. Now do you believe that I know something about these people? All right, yeah. Will you answer some questions for me now? Okay, I'll talk to you. A little, but make it fast. Okay. Tell me what you know about voodoo. Look, take some advice. Stay away from this voodoo shit. You don't really want to know, man. Believe me, do yourself a... Tell me what you know... Oh, man, just shut up about that. Can't you see? I, I saw you. You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him. Everything does. Promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything. Okay, okay, all right. I was sending a message, man. They have these rider drummers posted around the quarter. They see everything. And they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's some kind of code. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo houndfall in New Orleans. All right, all right. There's this underground cartel in New Orleans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean, everything that's bought or sold. They have fingers in the legit world, too. Banks, foreign stuff. You name They're supposed to be this temple. What you said, a hound for. That's their headquarters, man. I heard people say it's underground, somewhere in the quarter. I don't know where, though. Have you ever been there? No, no. I've never been in it. I'm nobody, man. But I saw them once. Out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. Hey, are you okay? The eyes. I think I should go get a doctor. <coughs> hey, are you all right? <coughs> Someone, I need help. The eyes, the eyes of the snake, Dambala. Crash? Crash spasms twice more, then dies as Gabriel watches. Oh my God. Hmm, eyes of the snake. Crash is dead. <laughs> Crash won't be looking at any. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's got a tattoo. On Crash's chest is a tattoo of a snake. That tattoo looks like Casano's bracelet. Mm. Maybe let me draw it. I guess I'd better copy this tattoo. Mm. Moving the body is. Gabriel can't see a way.
The tracing is of a snake tattoo from Crush's chest. There's a lot of snakes and a lot of everything. I think that's it, man. No, it's not. So I have. The tr oh, yeah, I have to go to the police station. That's right. Vince Mosley. Kind of grungy. Mosley doesn't even know about Crash's demise. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the Crash. What? What are you? Yeah, well, that turned out to be a brilliant move. They? You're. It was the voodoo cult. They did it. Crash said that. You're an amateur, so let me give you some advice. Crash is a. Well, he was a junkie. You gotta read through the hallucinations, you know what I mean? St. Louis Cathedral. Lovely. Well, we'll make sure he's picked up sometime today so he doesn't scare the shit out of some nun. But chill, Gabe. In this business, you see... Your professionalism... How can I convince... I already... You still need to... Prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult. Get me a lead on the cult. I took this tracing from a tattoo on Crash's chest. It's related to the underworld voodoo cult. Yeah? What makes you think that? It's what Crash said just before he died. He was probably hallucinating from the drugs he OD'd on. Probably got that in the Navy or something. No, I'm sure it's related. It's a snake, see? And if... Even if it were a signal of some sort, that doesn't prove that the murders were done by a legit voodoo cult. Okay, I'll show him the bracelet as well. have this snake bracelet. It's a replica of one used. Really? I got it from an old Creole lady whose grandmother was an acolyte of Mar Gabriel, Gabriel. We get those little old ladies in here all the time. What? What's it gonna take? That doesn't prove it. Jesus. Showing that to Mosley. Hmm. <sighs> can I ask you? You're the writer. How can I convince you? I already. You still need to prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narlin. Get me a lead on the cult. Okay. Get a lead on the cult. I showed Crash the snake bracelet and finally started talking. He says a voodoo, local voodoo cartel is behind the motors to control all related stuff. Blah blah blah. Drummers, Eskimo, City. They have a secret hotel underground somewhere in the French Quarter, but Crash didn't know where. He also said they used me up on St. John's Eve. He's even got a snake tattoo. Then Crash just died in front of me. I know, don't know what I've gotten into. I have a feeling I may be in some deep shit. Did you buy the cover of mask? Did you talk yeah. Did you help Sam work in this game? Did you show Crash the place? Yes, I did. So, what next? 
Sajan hmm. Fado's painting, get them more. Watch Clash Talk, promo. The overlook helps down with the game. Show the place of the Clash. Face tattoos, get approach Grand's attic, learn about Grand's Ritter. Ask Anna about Ritter and. That's really good. Call of Wolfgang. Take the Magenta Moon to fly up from the Voodoo Museum. Ma Magenta Moon to fly up. Really, I did. You haven't yet. Ask Grace to research the reconstruct the Voodoo. You haven't already. Where do I find the scale to match? Okay, so I knew you'd miss me, so I really let me call the German guy then this time. See if it works this time. I tried calling him earlier on, but couldn't. Didn't Grace say you had to dial 011 first to get international? So, um... I'm not calling Germany. That Wolfgang Ritter guy says he's a relative, but I've never heard of him. Hmm. So that means I didn't search the attic properly. Okay. Reconstructed visa. I did research for you on that already, Gabriel. Oh, right. Okay. My pre. Okay. Can we talk? Of course. Are you okay? I'm right. You know, I always... Oh dear, you shouldn't talk so. Oh. All right, dear. Grandma's boy. I'm gonna go up to the... Enjoy. So I have to find out about Heinz Ritter. Hmm. Grandma's attic is a store. The trunk can some old. Aren't those called lederhosen? Serious. Just what I need. And a bundle of letters. I don't think there's anything. In I don't think there's anything else in that trunk that would interest anybody but my grand. Hmm. I think I'll leave that up. Okay, so nothing happened. How do I walk this thing? There's an interesting design in Okay. So what's on the bottom of it, the design?
Hmm. How the heck am I supposed to figure this out? The face of the clock is hand painted. A ring of six symbols surrounds the face of the clock. A sword, a sun, an angel, a noose, an eclipse, and a dragon. The ring of symbols doesn't appear to have any mechanical function, but it does move. Okay, it does move. Time is it up Six o'clock? What am I doing? Okay, maybe there's some sim the symbols here all aligned somehow. Still gonna use a mirror plot as the past repeats itself. The visions Gabriel's father had look familiar. Ah. So maybe in order of when things happened in the dream, what's the first thing that happened to you? Search crowns out and learn about Orange Jesus. I did. Did you visit the Buddha Museum? Did you check in the place? Where do I find a scale? I can get it from the point. Okay, maybe this is something. Clock's hands is that way, maybe, is it? Dot is reconstruction of the voodoo murders pattern. Hmm. What is what the heck?
Maybe that's the hands here. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five staircases. One, two. Hmm. Very, very peculiar. Nothing happens. Shit. There's an interest. I have to go to the Buddha Museum. Okay. After the Buddha Museum snake attacks you, Grace will take us to go from the place and. I'm gonna go to the Voodoo Museum, so that is here. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return. A very large, very. F the snake is. Hmm. Can I ask you some more? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Tell me about what actually did. I've given you as much detail. Okay, so how will I get this snake to, you know? Perhaps Gabriel should learn more about the scale before showing it to anyone. That doesn't work that way. The Python is quite dangerous. Thanks for the advice. Hmm. Does this mean I cannot see that it shit? Oh, maybe this. Do you recognize? How curious. Where did yeah. you find it? Oh, just lie. I would throw it away if I. Why is that? It looks like trouble. Oh, damn it. Come on, give me a break. Does this. It looks like the ancient history. I suppose. A brick? Does this mean anything to you? I cannot. <sighs> I'm really still stuck here. Right now. Does this pattern look. Where did you get. You do recognize. I have never. Are you sure about. I am sure. Do these symbols mean? No. 
They look like nonsense to me. Ah, uh, so. I see. By the way, I forgot to warn you, Mr. Knight. The local cemeteries are quite dangerous. Buggers. Really? Hmm. I wonder if that's the hints for tomorrow. Uh... Okay, watch crash. Yep, help some and waste it. Waste the tattoo. Well, stairs to find out if they're in there. See, I can't call Wolfgang because he keeps saying he doesn't want to call Germany. Hmm. Grace will take us to Africa. Alright. What's this? Oh, the hooded place. With the Latino resolution, we had a lot more space to fill. Here, the artist pulled in a second story for some no luck later. So that is still painting. God, I hate that. But this is important. Finally, the ugly damn crocodile mass is mine. It never be watered. I don't want to have thought this thing. Just so I can hang in a red one. Paint with it. As the camera in it. Now that it's useless to go Then again, since it's really by the rules, but. A little extra confidential will go a long way. Sounds funny to beat the markers, or take all the hurt I can get. I gave Sam for that. Got a copy of Cousin of Snake Bracelet. Showed to Crash. So Harrison Knight was really Heinz Ritter and changed the name when we moved to the States. But why? Hmm. But how do I call that guy in Germany? The question. Okay. How about if I go back to... Nope, not in here. The door to hot. A sign under front. There's no answer. Perhaps Casano got it. Hmm. I told him so. I am really confused now. I'm stuck. Even with the hints. An unhappy look at. Napoleon. Can I ask you some? Look. Hmm. Okay. 
if I use the phone in the play station. Mosley's phone. Gabriel doesn't want to. This is not. It's call here. Gabriel does. Oh fuck. That doesn't prove any. Can I ask you? You're the right. How can I already? You s prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Nar. Get me a lead on the cult. Jesus Christ. Getting a lead on the cult. That doesn't prove. Showing that to Mosley. Hmm. You know those marks you found? Oh, the finally. Thank this you, Jesus. is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. Really? So this is the whole pattern, huh? That's pretty good work, Knight. But that doesn't prove that this pattern is really connected to voodoo. What? Jesus, that's to do more, is it? That doesn't prove any. Gabriel doesn't. Can I ask you? You're the right. How can I convince? I already. You proved that there's a legitimate oh. voodoo cult in Narland. I still Get have me. to. Is the thought that's enough? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mosley seen as that doesn't prove any. Okay. Voodoo code? That doesn't prove. What the hell do you need? That doesn't prove. A brick? That doesn't prove. Oh shit. Can I join some stuff? Let's see. The iridescent scale is hued olive green. It doesn't seem to match. Okay. Maybe... Okay, here's some symbols here. That's a dragon, is it? The newspaper clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. It includes a rough sketch of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed Veve. But what does it mean? Gabriel is carrying a scale he found near the crime scene at Lake Looking at the series of crosses, Gabriel can't help but think they have a pattern and meaning he is not comprehending. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, twenty-four, 
and 32. So, is this going to do with the clock puzzle? I wonder. That's it. One, or one. Uh, that's a one. Bum, bum, bum. That's a two one. That's one, two, two. Damn it. KN underscore crypto. Welcome to Pixel Land. There's no reason to go to Gabriel wouldn't put in Okay, what well, what can I put in there? Bracelet? Gabriel would Okay, well I put in here Gabriel wouldn't put police department you're telling me you're stuck you're stuck now yes Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement. Okay. How to call this guy? Let's see. What kind of number? Didn't Grice say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Okay. Zero. Four, nine, zero, nine, eight, four. I'm not calling Germany. And Wolfgang Rittergeist says he's a relative, but I've never heard of him. Really? No, I am really fucking pissed off because how the hell am I supposed to call him? There were no Google searches back then and book reference would limit the drawings like this were done from the artist's own mental library of imagery, John Schroes. Google is a bit of a slacker and not big on new technology. It's rumored like that. So how long have you been working on Gabriel Knight? Uh, when, when, when did you come up with the original concept for the character in the story? It was after King's Quest VI, which I had co-designed with Roberta Williams. And uh, I guess that was about 1992. After that project was done, I was asked to come up with a proposal for my own adventure game series and, you know, had maybe a month to really try to work on that. So the Gabriel Light concept was born during that time. And um, I knew I wanted to do something that was a mystery series. And I knew I wanted to do something that had paranormal in it. So I went through a wide variety of ideas. Um, at first, I was thinking maybe he would be a, a parapsychologist professor at a university, but that was too much like Indiana Jones. So it, it just kind of evolved over time. And when I found the backstory of his family, it really gelled into the Schottenjäger concept. So what happened when you first pitched the game at Sierra? What was the uh, kind of the reaction at first to the idea? Well, it was kind of mixed because at the time, um, you know, Sierra had been doing very family-friendly products, well, with the exception of Lisa Suit Larry, but all of them were more hum either fantasy or humorous. You know, Space Quest was very funny. Um, 
Larry and even King's Quest to a certain amount. So, you know, it was, it was, you know, Gabriel Knight, it was clear from the very first proposal was very dark and sort of gothic and moody and a little more violent. And um, so there was actually some pushback on it from marketing and, um, there was a person in marketing who really did, didn't want to see it move forward, didn't think that was the Sierra brand. And even Ken, you know, he, he basically, what he told me was, um, you know, I, I wish you'd come up with something else, but I'm going to let you try this because, you know, he was a really a big believer in artistic vision and just letting the designer run with what they thought. And if, if the game didn't sell, then you were, you know, then it was all over. But he didn't tend it interfere which was really great on his part so um i must say that his response gave me sort of a crisis of faith because it was my to me it was my big shot to be able to do my own series at sierra and um i was worried that he would was right and that it just wouldn't sell well and people didn't want something like that something dark and you know something that wouldn't make them laugh um but we moved forward with it and fortunately it, it got a good response what changed about the game during development? Like, were there any stories or characters that were cut or changed for any particular reasons? Yes, I think that originally I had planned to have a chapter in, uh, like, um, in the West Indies. So if you remember the story, um, her family had originated in Africa and then spent some time in the West Indies and then moved to New Orleans. And so I was going to have a section there, but the game is already really quite long. So we ended up cutting that part. And what's it been like coming back to the game after 20 years since the first one was released? Well, by now I've been working on the remake for, you know, over a year. So <laughs> I'm extremely familiar with it. But, you know, when I first started looking at it again, um, I really hadn't played it since its release because, you know, when you work on a game like that, you end up playing, testing it so much at the end that you just never want to see it again as long as you live. But, um, yeah, so I hadn't seen the game in 20 years when I first started looking at it again. And I, the first thing I had to do was revise the design document. Um, there were some changes that we wanted to make in regards to breaking up the content so that there would be sort of more, more of an even amount of content per day so that uh, we could release it per day on iPad if we want, chose to do that later on. So it was um, it was really kind of a blast from the past. It was just very nostalgic, especially listening to some of the dialogue again and playing it through on the original version on GOG. It just brought back so many memories and every line, you know, it's, it's kind of like you, you forgot, totally forgot that. But as soon as you hear it, um, you remember it and it's very familiar. And it was it was just a treat, you know, coming back to it and feeling like, yeah, this is really fun. And I'm so excited that we get to um, bring this back for a new audience. Do you have any particular fun or interesting stories from the during development the first time? I think we just we, we were. As, as John Schroed said in his interview, you know, we were all young and ambitious and excited and had tons of energy, and the team really gelled. Um, I think everybody on the team really believed in the game and was passionate about it, and we were sort of this little rogue group that um, was working on something very different for Sierra. And, you know, it was, it was just a – it was a development process that went very smoothly, actually. It was, it was probably one of the fastest games I've ever done because – I believe the proposal was approved in October, maybe around Halloween, and we had one year, basically, the game shipped the following November. So, you know, for a game of that size with that much writing and recording and all of that, you know, to be turned around in a year was was quite a feat. But um, like I said, I mean, we just had a very passionate team, and I think I probably spent that entire year at Sierra <laughs> Um, I think I even slept under my desk once or twice. <laughs> That's dedication. <laughs> so obviously the uh, release cycle is very different now from what it was at the time. So um, what was it like then? That I'll go back to that to later. Find out what Pretty interesting.
Let me just check the journal about this thing. Wait a second. Ah. There's three snakes here. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's as a dragon. Ah, and that's on the lion thing. Let me see if I solve the clock puzzle. And go on with how. Wasted so many hours on day four. It's Jesus. my favorite grandson. Your only. Your only grandson. Does this mean anything to you? I believe that was your father's, Gabriel. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy yourself, dear. That's all of this puzzle. It must be something to do with the journal. With images in it. Okay. So, is that it? What is that? Three snakes and three snakes. So maybe. Here's what I'm doing. Wait, how would it be three and three? The dragon. The key winds the clock's mechanism. Granddaddy, you old fox. Three dragons. Oh. A secret draw has opened. Hmm. The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. The letter is addressed to mein Sohn Heinz and signed Wilhelm Ritter. One of the reoccurring words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. The only other thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of a quill tip, bold strokes and underlining. Hmm, interesting. The letter is written in German. It was sent the let one of the the only The letter is it oh, the no, no, one yeah. of the So oh there's the written photograph. The back of the photo has the following written on it. Schloss Ritter, nineteen twenty five. Beautiful photograph. But it doesn't look any evil in it at all. The old photograph shows Gabriel's grandfather with two other men that Gabriel has not identified. Okay. Um. Three dragons, huh? oh. Wait a second. Can I get the ladders? I 
don't think there's anything else. In okay. I think I'll leave. Can we talk, Graham? Of course, my boy. How can? Oh, nothing. Oh. Okay. Let me show her these things. Does this mean that one in the middle is your grandfather? Those other two, oh, I don't know. Hmm. The back of the photo has the following written on it: Schloss Ritter, 1925. So the man in the middle is his grandfather. Okay. Does this mean anything? Uh, Wait, it. Oh, say that again. Does this mean anything? Uh, no, dear. I'm afraid I don't speak a word of German. Ah, she's lying. Is she? she has to be lying. Does this? Sorry. Does this? Sorry. Can I use your phone, ma'am? Granny? Hmm. Can we talk, Graham? Of course, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Have you ever heard of a shot? Shot and Jaeger? Shot and Jaeger? Oh, how odd. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Shot Your Jaeger. granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Shot and Jaeger. Really? No. Do you know what it means? Jaeger Meister. No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I, I don't think he answered. Huh. Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel. Where? Did I found a letter in Grand. Oh. I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Graham. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. Do you know anyone named Wolf Wolfgang Ritter? Huh. Oh. As I said, your granddad's surname was originally... Why did Granddad change his... I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family and his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it. He never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his... Since he obviously found it painful, I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your Granddad was the best man I ever knew. So Did Granddad weird. ever say anything about his? Only that his family was crazy and oh, that wow. he never <laughs> wanted to see them. He believed in some family curse. Thought that he could stab Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Whatever Harrison wanted to spare you, though, oh, it cost him plenty. He never did sleep well, and he would often get a far away guilty look. He was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing. I don't know how he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a mm. terrible way to live. Oh, no. All right. Wow, that's interesting. Let me call Wolfgang now. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excited. Didn't Grace say you had to dial zero one one first to get international? Yep.
Finally. Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht. I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Ja, einen Moment. Ja, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I've been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What in the hell are you talking about? <laughs> It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had dreams about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I knew that Heinz had a grandson, but until this dream started, I, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Wow. Look. I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly, I don't know you from Adam, and I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. You are the last of our line. I'm too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. Oh, read the journal. What journal? This journal again? I'll come to him in Germany. I can't even well, afford it. It's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream, okay? <sighs> I think it's time to finish up day four as well. Frantic day four. Hello. It's me. I can't sleep. Ah, oh, me neither. Can I? Yes. Come. Wow. Day 5. The road was blocked, the truth was shunned, the white flag had been waved, the reversal cost me all I had, and everything was I braved. Do these poems actually mean anything? Are you okay, Gabriel? Sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now what's up? You got another package this morning. Overnight from Germany. That was quick. I was expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. There was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang and a journal. The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble, in case you didn't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. I got it. St. George's Books. Oh, Professor Hartridge. I'm glad you called. Did you? Oh, you did. You did. But oh, wait, slow down. They agree. Really? You think that's them? We're within a wheel. Ogun Badagri, huh? 
Well, that does sound like it. Dumbala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom. Okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santo Domingo? Well, why would the Veve show up there? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. L look, I'll come over as soon as I can, okay? Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay, thanks. See ya. Wow, interesting. The professor I wish found you something. tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe, and I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. What about your dreams? Oh, nothing. I'll be careful. I promise. Cling, 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 cling. What's in the paper today? Times dated June 22nd, 1993. Disgusted with the state of the voodoo murder case, Gabriel turns right to his horoscope. The shadow upon you is no longer reversible. Wonderful. Wow. So he's done for then. Times dated June 22nd, 1993. The shadow upon... Wonderful. Next weekend will feature the 15th annual Dixie Beach Jazz Festival all day at Bruce. Cartridge just called Blood Flare. Okay, let's just go to him then. Oh, there's the journal. Let's read this. Gabriel reads through the pages Wolfgang marked. He reads of Gunter Ritter's journey to Charleston as a witch hunter, hired by the townsmen to solve a series of ritualistic murders. He reads about Gunter's meeting with the beautiful slave woman, Tetelo and of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Paul bastard. He reads of their physical union and passion, and of Gunter's investigation into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition to Africa, it seems. The second to the last entry describes Gunter's plan to set a trap for the coven committing the murders. He'd found a name on one of the surviving members of the crew, a man now living in the West Indies. Gunter has spread a false rumor that the man is returning to Charleston. He himself will impersonate the sailor and allow himself to fall into the hands of the coven. Naturally, Gunter has arranged for able-bodied assistants to follow and attack the coven before they can do him harm. Ballsy son of a bitch, wasn't he? Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. Okay, so, dear father, I offer these final words as apology for the harm done to our sacred office. The woman I wrote to, to Tello, Tetelo, was the witch I saw. I have committed terrible crimes. I love this witch. Then used our sacred family power to free her and aid her in destroying this colony. The talisman is gone. Tetelo took it. I can but pray for thy swift recovery of the talisman, and that my punishment in hell will be long and bitter. Thy unserving son, Gunther. Wow. Gunther Ritter's diary is leather bound. It's parchment. Wolfgang's letter says, Dear Gabriel, please read the enclosed journal carefully. It might help you understand your family's special obligations and our current predicament. God be with you. Uncle Wolfgang. 
I'll go off gang. The letters addressed. Okay. Got a minute, Gray? What's up? Could you do? Sure. What? Could you research? Rada drums? Sure. I don't think we have any books on that topic in the shop. Assuming any of them will extend. Tell them it's an emo. Uh huh. I can see where a Rada drum book would be incredibly urgent. I can't think of anything. Have you ever? No. I don't think. No. How do you... <laughs> I'd rather. Do you? I've. <clears throat> Get the hell out of here. This guy's really starting a book. No <laughs> kidding. I have a feeling if he can see us, they can see us. And they, you mean. The voodoo people, hoodoo people. Okay, I'm tired there. I have to sleep. Ah, at least I finished the fourth day. It was a bit tricky, got stuck in a few things, but. Yeah, it's done. Ah, I'll have to continue tomorrow. Later, guys.